Hey everyone. As I keep hearing the authorities pushing the date for being quarantined further and further back, beginning it was uh, middle, middle of April, then it was beginning of May, and now it's middle of May. As I hear them keep pushing that date further and further back uh, until we don't know when, I can't help but think about the fable of the frog sitting in a pot of boiling water. Now, if you're familiar with that fable, that will make perfect sense to you. If you're not, just Google it, search for the story online, uh, you, you can easily find it. But the premise, in a nutshell, of this story, the moral of the story, is that if you place a frog in a pot of boiling water, it will, of course, instinctively jump out because um, it hurts, right? But if you place a frog in a pot of tepid water and then very slowly increase the temperature until it boils, unfortunately, the frog will try to adjust, will not pay attention to the danger or the threat, uh, and will eventually be cooked alive. Now, it's not my nature to cook frogs alive. It's not what I do, but uh, the moral of the story is clear, right? If we stay longer, or the longer we stay in this sense or in this day of or state of quarantine, I should say, the more we keep uh, this level of isolation and social distancing, the more we are prone to um, the many dangers that it presents to our psyche, mainly feeling helpless and hopeless, depressed, sad, um, finding uh, lack of meaning in everything and, and so forth. So the anxiety of the moment is, uh, is, is very clear. And my invitation to you is to take that moment and do something for you. And I can tell you what other, some, or some other people have done already. They've decided to take control over their thoughts, over their mind, over their perceptions, and shift their beliefs about what's possible. And I'm saying that you, you don't have to do it through my programs, uh, my online programs, group programs, or even through my private sessions. You can do it on your own, or with anyone else for that matter. But even on your own, there's a lot that you can do. Heck, I just took my first piano lesson yesterday from a platform I believe called Udemy, right? It's an online resource and uh, it was a very inexpensive course. I decided to take it. My daughter thinks it's hilarious because she knows how to play the piano and I don't and I sound terrible, but maybe by the end of this uh, precious time in, in, in our lives, I'll be able to play, maybe not perform in front of a crowd, but I'll be able to play even one song, and that'll be a victory for me. Um, another thing that you can do that doesn't cost any money, uh, today I decided to take a trip down memory lane and go back to my backpacking days uh, and travel all the way back to uh, one of my favorite places in the world, India, and uh, I found a DJ that I used to listen to, uh, dare I say, dance to the raves, uh, his raves, his music, or rave music back in the day. Uh, Paul Ockenfeld, he's on SoundCloud. I, I missed that so much. So I spent an hour uh, or so dancing today. Like there's no tomorrow. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. The point is, do something for you. Snap out of this state of paralysis, out of this, uh, from under this blanket of stress, and do something meaningful for you. If I've seen anything that is uh, anything holding people back from taking any sort of action, uh, is basically fear, and uh, we're, we're all kind of we, we all share that fear, fear of failing. But the truth is that the past uh, is not our destiny, right? So just because we once failed or many times have failed to accomplish certain something, that doesn't mean that this is going to be the case today. And just because we have set certain goals and didn't follow up or didn't achieve those goals, that doesn't mean we can't do it now, right? So make use of this time, turn this uh, state of, of, of uh, bizarre uh, paralysis in the world to a state of action from within and do something good for you. What we're guaranteeing by taking some form of action, it doesn't matter what it is, is that we will shift from where we are to somewhere better. What we guarantee by not taking any action by just binge watching Netflix or Amazon Prime or whatever it is that we do, uh, is that we're gonna come out of this uh, moment in time, out of this pandemic, out of this crisis. We're gonna come out of it less able to pick up the pieces of our lives and uh, we're not gonna feel good. We're not gonna feel intact. So my invitation for you is to do something for you to make this moment a useful moment. And uh, whether it's on your own or with other people that you love, come together. Uh, acquire some skills, 
and, and reach out to people and resources that can help you. I'm happily uh, available to help to anyone that find hypnotherapy meaningful and comfortable and uh, want to learn more about that. There's so much that we can do. So reach out. Don't stay in paralysis. Take some action. And I will see you on the other endless. Take care. Bye-bye.